And minutes before our newscast, East End MLA Arden McLean hit back at the Human Rights Commission statement. His motion supporting government's appeal of last week's court ruling to legalize same-sex marriage continued for a second day and could wrap up tonight. Cayman 27's Joe Avery reports. Calling it a matter of definite national importance, East End MLA Arden McLean presented his motion supporting government's appeal of Chief Justice Anthony Smelly's decision to the fullest extent. The motion kicked off hours of debate. We are not dealing with Sunday school children or people. These people don't mean us well. Take warning. Savannah MLA Anthony Eden seconded the motion comparing Friday, March 29th, the day the judgment was handed down, to the Pearl Harbor attack. What is the difference between the Cayman Islands and Solomon Gomorrah? You think he's going to make an exception? He's not going to do it. Are we going to sit down as Caymanians and allow this to invade our country? God forbid. Education Minister Juliana O'Connor Connolly told the chamber she received what was purportedly Chantel Day and Vicki Baden Bush's marriage license, encouraging opponents of same-sex marriage to lodge objection to the union in writing or in person. The person who is marrying you usually will pause to say, Do, does anybody have any objections or does anyone have to, anything to say? So if you missed a seven-day window, please attend the marriage because it's been a very public display. And you have an opportunity to object. Petitioner Chantel Day responded to Ms. O'Connor Connolly in a statement saying, This call for objections to our marriage in writing slash in person demonstrates a blatant disregard for the rule of law and raises concerns of abuse of her position of power as a leader in our community. And this is no longer a gay marriage issue. This is a constitutional issue. Others like Newland's MLA Alva Saku questioned the Chief Justice's authority to usurp the lawmaker's legislative power. What comes next? What else will be taken away from this legislature? Commandeered. Joe Avery, Cayman 27. Ms. Day says the education minister's call for citizens to lodge objections to her union shows a complete disregard to the premier's call for everyone to act respectfully. The motion is expected to pass unanimously.